So if you're a CEO, your number one job is to grow the business. And Liz and I are going to walk you through the seven ways on how exactly to do that. The first and simplest way is by geography. So think about Walmart or think about McDonald's. If you have a proven process, a proven store, you can just open that store up in multiple locations to reach other businesses. Liz, what's the next way to grow? So the second way to grow your business is through products and services. So what you want to think of is how can you get your existing clients or your customers to spend more money? So a good example would be a restaurant that maybe offers a lunch portion, maybe a drink, a sandwich, and a dessert to just get their customers to spend a little bit more money. So that's how you uh, grow through products and services. So what's the third way? The third way is through customer scale. So think about Gap. Gap also owns on the high end Banana Republic and they also own on the low end a company called Old Navy. Did you know that Toyota is also owns Lexus? So this is basically coming out with another brand to reach either the low end of the market or the high end of the market. This is used when you have the same supply chain on the back end, but you want to branch off to reach different companies or different levels of customer scale. But the key here is that you have to have different brands, same supply chain on the back end. Step number four. So step number four would be channels. So the easiest way to understand this is how can you reach your customers and how can they purchase your service or product in a different way? So a great example that's happening a lot now are restaurants. They're now offering Uber Eats, or Grubhub, which is just another way to get their product to the customers. And really the number one thing there is convenience. How can you reach your customers in another convenient way? Step number five is through verticals. If you're a company that specializes in a particular industry, you can branch out. So at my church, in order to run our app, we use a company called Subsplash. They do app development for churches. If Subsplash wanted to grow through verticals, they could do, for example, apps for hospitals. So just changing the actual focus and branching out a little bit more. What is step number six? So number six would be mergers and acquisitions. So basically what this is, you would basically bring on or buy another company. And what you would gain from that would be the insight, the processes, and the customers that they already have. So again, you're just buying another company and bringing them under your wing, and then just bringing them to what your company currently does. And the last step is through horizontal integration. So horizontal integration, I want you to think about a supermarket. That supermarket sells milk, but before that milk actually got there, there are other steps in the process that had to first start off at a farm, that cow gets milked, it then gets pasteurized, goes to a distributor, and then ultimately ends up on that shelf at the retailer. And each step of the process, the price gets marked up a little bit. So if you wanted to grow through horizontal integration, you would just reach back and just buy that next step in the process from farm to pasteurizer to distributor down to retail and you just buy the whole process. So those are the seven ways to grow. In particular, what we're gonna do now is look at your business specifically to see what is the best way that you can grow in 2020. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.